The Palette Options folder in the Export dialog gives you complete control over the color palette of your image, allowing you to optimize it for export, trading slight losses in quality for reductions in file size. If you're unsure about the function of any of the tools, click on the Help button. It will open a help file specifically related to the export and optimization functions. You can sort your color palette by number of uses, luminance, or hue. Sorting by number of uses is very useful as it allows you to see which colors are used least. You can then delete the least used colors from your palette to reduce your file size. You can also reduce the number of colors in the palette by changing the color depth. Notice that as we change from 256 colors to 16 colors, the file size information is automatically updated. This real-time comparison is invaluable when you're trying to make your image as small as possible for use on the web. You also have the ability to directly edit specific colors within your image. To delete a color from the palette, simply select the color either by clicking on it or using the color picker. Then click on the Delete button. And file size information will also be updated to reflect the absence of that color. To restore a deleted color, simply select that color and click on the Restore button. If there is a particular color that you wish to keep in your color palette, even if you plan to reduce color depth significantly, you can use the Lock function. Simply select that color and click on the lock button. Notice that the RGB value of the selected color is displayed on the left side of the Palette Options folder. You can also make the background transparent by clicking on the Background Transparency button. And if you wish to make a specific color in your image transparent, you can select that color and click on the Make Transparent button.